Hiya folks, it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. This is Jason and just chilling out today. My missionary friends have gone home today and uh, we had a great time of mission and uh, I'll be going to see them in Holland sometime. So it was a good time. So thanks for your prayers. Thanks for your support uh, and thanks for your encouragement. We had a good time. We reached many people with uh, the gospel. We gave out a lot of Gospel of John's and there were people that did come out and come out and help us on some day. So it was it was really good. So thank you for that, for your prayers. Don't forget my website's uh, jasonburnspreacher.com. You can get me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, also, uh, my brother uh, Frank, uh, who uh, is the missionary, uh, has uh, got me uh, a sound system. So that system, sound system will be coming uh, today sometime. So thank you, brother, uh, for that gift. And I'm going to use that for the Lord to, to reach out in Manchester and around the UK. So I'm just doing this video um, just to let you know what's happening in the next couple of days. Uh, we're going down to Hyde Park, God willing, on the 17th. Uh, there's four of us going. Uh, so there's me, Kieran, Mike, and uh, a brother called George. And so we're coming down. So if, if the Christian apologists down there want to meet up with us, have a chat, talk, pray together, we'd love to see you guys. Um, any Christian preachers down there you want to meet up, any pastors, any evangelists, any Christians want to meet up, just let us know. We'd love to see you, love to pray with you, and just if it's just have a short service together where we sing carols uh, and uh, give a short word, it would be lovely to see you. So... The team's coming down. We're meeting um, tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to have a meeting uh, just to pray and to strategize. And uh, yeah, so we're going to come down and we just we just want to see people saved and answer the Muslim questions, uh, etc. So we're coming down the 17th. So the opportunity, uh, Hamza, if you want to debate, Mohammed Hijab, um, Paul Williams, if you want to debate on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm open to debate you and Mike is, is willing to, to uh, join in as well. So the opportunity there, if you want to debate us, will be coming down. We're not going to be running after you. We're there. You want to come and debate us, come and debate us. If you don't want to, it's okay. We, we know as, as, uh, as it is that you just pick on those who, who, who are young Christians and, and not pick on those who actually come prepared. Uh, so the opportunity is there for various uh, debaters to, to debate us on the 17th. Uh, so long as you do it, do it in an amicable way, in a nice way, uh, we, we are open to debating you. Uh, so the opportunity is there. Um, speaking of debates, uh, we have a debate here. I'm just going to... If we go to Yaya Snow... He's confirmed a debate. He, he wrote a few days ago. Are the sources of the resurrection reliable? Date Tuesday the 19th, 3 p.m. NY time, 8 p.m. UK time. And the format is 20 minutes um, and then 10 minutes and then rebuttal, 5 minutes conclusion. And then I went that time he sent me this text. Um, and talked to Ijaz Ahmad, who uh, is probably seen as, he says, Dr. Abai's, Dr. Ali's successor. Says it there, look. So I talked to that gentleman, who did seem to know quite a bit about uh, textual criticism. Uh, and he confirmed that he was open for a debate sometime in January, maybe mid-January or at the end of January. Um, so that's another debate. So, but there is a debate on the nineteenth, on the nineteenth, and um, at three p.m. NY time, eight p.m. UK time, and it's with uh, this gentleman, uh, Aquil Onku. Uh, so that's the gentleman there. I'll just show you. Hi, sir. 
why the, the, the companions of the disciples not recognizing who he is? And if he had conquered death, wouldn't it be most fitting for him to go town and say, listen, you tried to kill me, or you did kill me. I told you I would rise in three days, and here I am. He refused to go back into town. Meet me in Galilee. Meet me over here. He refused to go back into the, to the people. Why? Because they didn't kill him, and he's still running for his life. So, um, this guy has a website. This is his website. Uh, under a pseudo name uh, called Refuting the Doubts. Uh, Radush, uh, I can't pronounce it, Shubahat or Shubahit. So, this is his website. And. Um, I've been on his website, I've looked at some of his articles. Um, so this is the guy I'll be debating. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya ibn al-mursaneen. Say, to the obfuscation and charges laid against the Prophet Muhammad, so yeah so that's the 19th uh, of December that's when the debate's on it's between me and um, pronounce his name Aquil on Q so be there or be square um, I look forward to the debate I really enjoy uh, studying I really enjoy uh, researching. Uh, I just love it, and so I in, I value the opportunity to debate this gentleman. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I've made a few videos about it. You know what my opinion is about not just Aquil's scholarship, but various other Islamic scholars. Um, I don't find it very convincing, but I, I'm I'm happy to engage. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna finish with um, a uh, a book recommendation. So I recommend this book to read this Christmas. Get hold of a copy. It's got more than conquerors. Um, by uh, Baker Publishers. It's by William Hendrickson. It's on the book of Revelation, and uh, it's a really helpful book. Uh, you'll find it a very helpful blessing. Uh, so have a, have a read of that, you'll enjoy it. So, I'm going to just, uh, just read uh, Psalm 27. I'm winding now, down now from street preaching. I'll be going out... Um, to Hyde Park, I'll do a bit of street preaching there um, and I'll be meeting some friends, some Eritrean friends um, later this week in Salford uh, for a, just an hour or two but I won't be preaching so I'm, I'm gonna take a break over this Christmas and so that's where I'm at um, so I wish everybody a happy Christmas, I wish Everybody, uh, a lovely Christmas. I know that people are going through difficulty and we'll be praying for you. And uh, love to everybody. And just to let you know that we are planning a mission in summer. And we're hoping and praying about the possibility of bringing about 11 Dutch people over from Holland. We, it's only an idea at the moment. Uh, so if that's something you'd like to facilitate or help in the UK... Uh, please let us know um, to bring a team over from Holland. Um, we need to put them up, uh, find accommodation for them. And it'll be sometime in summer. So if that's something you're interested in getting involved in and helping us, if you're a pastor or a church, uh, we'd be very grateful. Uh, it says, The Lord is my light, Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. 
Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. From the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me, therefore will I offer in the tabernacle sacrifices your joy. I will sing ye, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy up upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, take the Lord will take me up. Then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. I just want to say one or two things, um, really. Um... Christmas can be a happy time for people, but it also can be a difficult time. And um, so for those who might be going through a difficult time at Christmas, just a few thoughts. Remember that you might not know the way at the moment, and the way might seem dark, but God knows the way. Remember that God hears your cry, and that God will carry you. And that you might not see how he's carrying you, but he will carry you and he will help you. So I'm just going to pray and ask the Lord's blessing uh, for you this Christmas. Father, I just pray that you be with those at Christmas who need you desperately. Comfort them, meet their needs, I pray. And Lord, bless them and be with them and, and strengthen them, Lord, in your name and for your glory. Amen. Just remember who you are in Christ, that Christ is with you, Christ loves you, Christ gives you strength. See everything through his eyes this Christmas and you'll be okay. Don't take your eyes off Jesus this Christmas, but just keep your eyes on him and be praying much. You know, the House of Lords, they were discussing the other day and there was a, a Lord who said he's very worried that there's going to be a law passed that stops Christians having free speech and empowers Islam. So we're in dark times. We need to be praying and, and spending much time. But those who are struggling over Christmas, remember to think about Christ and keep your eyes fixed on him. God bless you. Take care and uh, have a lovely Christmas. God bless you.